We could implement the garbage collection algorithm by literally making space in an object for colors like white, gray, and black, but it turns out there's a, another way to implement it that's easier uh, to implement that indirectly colors things as white or black, and it's called a two-space copying collector. And it's called two-space because we take all of memory and we break it up into two parts. One of them is the two-space, without the W, uh, and the other one is the from-space. And we only use half of the space at a time. We allocate always into two-space. Now when we fill up all of the two-space, then we have to start a garbage collection. And we start out that collection by swapping the notion of from-space to two-space. That's why it's called from-space. And we're going to copy objects out of from-space into two-space. So because we split memory in half, there's definitely enough room in two-space to take all the objects that were in from-space. But hopefully we don't need all the objects in from-space, uh, and so we won't fill up two-space and we'll be able to keep going and allocating more in the program. And the process of choosing a gray object uh, that means we're just walking through the things in order that we've moved to new space. So it turns out that copying an object from, from space to two space, that's the same as coloring it gray, and then picking a gray object and transitioning it to black, that corresponds to walking through the objects in two space. So let's look at a picture. We have two space collector now, so uh, we have two blue boxes. Um, and we're starting a collection, so this used to be called to space, that was where we were allocating, but since we've started a collection, this is now from space, and we're going to copy the objects over to to space. Now, conceptually, what we do, as we did before, is we start out by looking at the registers and coloring every referenced object gray. But coloring an object gray now corresponds to copying it from the from space to to space. So we're going to copy that object that is referenced from the register, um, and it's still referring to other objects that are in from space, uh, but now this object lives over here. We also update the old place that this uh, object used to say, to, to paint it purple, and say that this object has moved to this new spot over here in two space. So conceptually we've colored this object gray by moving it over here, and we haven't picked this object as a gray object yet. Uh, so let's pick this object. This counts as a gray object. We follow its orange arrows, and we see it has two orange arrows going into from space. The things in from space are still white objects, so that means we color them gray by copying them over. Copy this first object over to here, and the subject, second object right next to it over there. So you can see these objects that were spread out a little bit in memory are now getting grouped together in from space because we're just allocating, you know, contiguously in the space. Although uh, you know, in two dimensions, we leave some gaps occasionally. Notice that these references got updated to refer to the new, the object's new locations in two space, while the object's old locations now point over to their new locations in case we need to uh, to see where an object has moved to. That means we're done with this object, so we can paint it black by incrementing this red pointer to the next object in two space, which is right here. We look at this object. It has no outgoing edges, so that means we are done with it. Uh, we just paint it black by moving the pointer along. Now we have this object. It has one outgoing arrow into uh, from space, so we copy that new object over here. We have a forwarding pointer that says where it went, and we updated our object to point to the new copy here. Right, now we're done with this object, so we consider the last one. This last one has one outgoing orange edge, but it points to a purple box over here. In other words, it's a box, an object that we've already moved, and because we left ourselves a forwarding pointer here, we know that that object moves there. So instead of copying this box again, what happens is that uh, we see that there's a forwarding pointer and we just update this orange arrow to point to the copy there. Right, that corresponds to discovering that we have an already gray or black uh, object that we refer to and not trying to repaint it gray, uh, but leaving it alone. And so at this point, we're done with that object and we're done uh, traversing our set of copied objects. In other words, we're out of gray objects, so that means the garbage collection is complete. And we finish by just ignoring from space from now on. Conceptually, we clear it, but really we can just ignore it, and so all those arrows go away. And now we keep allocating over here, we keep interpreting, and eventually when we run out of space at this point, then we will perform a collection that copies objects back over there. So this algorithm involves copying, which may sound expensive, but there are different ways to organize things so that it, uh, the, the expense turns out not to be a problem, especially given the advantages of copying the objects. Um, the benefit for our purposes is that two-space collection is actually a lot easier than dealing with colors on objects. So that's what we're going to implement uh, for our interpreter.